What are internal combustion engines? The term refers to any machine that uses the inputs and outputs of combustion as the working fluids and keep the process within the engine. But how do they work? Well, internal combustion engines convert chemical energy into mechanical energy. A recipe for ignition requires three things. A fuel, an oxidizer, and a source of ignition. We typically get this from gasoline, oxygen in the air, and a spark plug. Combustion itself happens inside a fixed cylinder that pushes down a moving piston, and consequently rotates a crankshaft. Then the crankshaft is connected to a series of gears in the transmission that drives the wheels on your car through a shaft. But of course, this is just an oversimplified explanation. The two main types of internal combustion engines are spark ignition, used in gasoline engines, and compression ignition, found in diesel engines. In addition, engines also vary in the number of strokes they require to complete a cycle. A stroke refers to the up and down motion of the piston. One movement up, one stroke. One movement down, one stroke. Most automobiles use four-stroke engines, but there are a few machines such as motorcycles, lawnmowers, chainsaws, and motorboats that benefit from the use of two-stroke engines. First, let's look into the most widely used engine in automobiles, the spark ignition four-stroke engine. During the intake stroke, the intake valve opens and the piston travels down from top center to bottom center, drawing fresh air and fuel into the cylinder. For the compression stroke, both intake and exhaust valves are closed. The piston moves up, thus compressing the air fuel mixture. In the power stroke, when the piston approaches top center, a spark plug produces an electric arc starting the ignition process. The expanding explosion then pushes the piston down. During the last stroke, the exhaust valve opens and the upward moving piston expels the combustion gases out of the chamber. To recap, two engine revolutions, which translate to 720 degrees, equals one cycle. This includes one intake stroke, one compression stroke, one power stroke, and one exhaust stroke. Two-stroke engines differ in that they only require one crankshaft revolution, or two strokes, hence the name, for a complete cycle and therefore produce one power stroke per rotation. They are ideal for small application where power to weight ratio is important. Ports in the cylinder walls that serve as the inlet and outlet are open and closed by the moving piston. The first stroke is compression. As the piston travels up, both the intake and exhaust ports are covered. This movement compresses the cylinder contents and pulls a fresh mixture of air fuel into the crankcase. When the piston is near top center, combustion is triggered by a spark plug. The second stroke is power. The piston travels down from the increasing pressure. As it gets close to the bottom center, the exhaust port is exposed first, followed by the intake port. This allows for the combustion products to exit the chamber and then the compressed mixture in the crankcase is thrown into the cylinder. In a nutshell, one engine revolution, which equals 360 degrees, equals one cycle. This includes one compression stroke and one power stroke. However, due to the nature of their mechanism, it is very difficult to completely fill the chamber with fresh air fuel, and it is also very easy for the mixture to flow out of the chamber during the scavenging process. In addition, most two-stroke engines have only one cylinder. This causes vibration issues from the force space torque pulsations. In a four-stroke, six-cylinder engine, every cylinder has a power stroke every two rotations or 720 degrees. 
This means there is a bang every 120 degrees. A two-stroke engine has a pulse every 360 degrees. They are also known for high oil consumption from adding oil to the fuel to lubricate the cylinder. Finally, compression engines. While there are several variations of the compression engines as well, we will only briefly cover a four-stroke multi-cylinder configuration in this video. In compression engines, only air is drawn and compressed in the combustion chamber during the intake and compression strokes. Fuel is then injected into the cylinder where the high pressure, high temperature air awaits, up to 600 psi and 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, thus creating the perfect condition for auto ignition and starting the combustion process. The exhaust stroke is similar to that of spark ignition engines where the rising piston ejects the gases. Since combustion is started by pressure rather than by a spark plug, compression ratio is considerably higher than gasoline engines. They typically vary from 12 to 24 rather than 8 to 12. Compression ratio is the volume of the cylinder with the piston at bottom center over the volume of the combustion chamber with the piston at top center. Another difference worth mentioning is that the engine speed is controlled solely by fuel injection amount rather than by throttle. This concludes this video. Please like and subscribe for similar videos in the future and please let me know what topics you would like for me to cover.